are showcasing emerging designers as part of our annual Up and Coming Designer Series. We're about to meet our first up and coming designer, Evan Hirsch. He's a New York based designer who creates transformational pieces from avant garde to everyday wear. There have been times that he didn't think that he had what it takes to be it to be where he is in the fashion world. But thanks to an unwavering support from his family, he's here today. Take a look. My name is Evan Hirsch. I'm 26 years old. When I was a kid, I was super creative. I was always interested in arts and crafts and drawing and painting. I never thought that I would be in the fashion industry. I always thought I was going to be God's gift to Broadway's world. <laughs> I would be cast in roles in the back of the corner of the stage. So that wasn't really my forte. And I was led to create and channel my creativity and theatricality into fashion. When I first entered design school, I had a lot of trouble with my confidence. I had trouble with craftsmanship and getting all of my scenes accurate. One teacher even looked on the inside of one of my garments and said, this craftsmanship will never allow you to become a designer. Luckily, I stuck with it and gradually got better. Once I left college, I really started to create my own dresses, put them on all of my friends. Everything that I design has some sort of transformable element to it. It's really the kind of thing where you look at it and it changes before your eyes in that wow moment. When I started posting these videos on social media, everyone would blow up. My record is 24 million views. Unfortunately, social media views are fleeting. I'm completely self-funded and not everybody knows how much goes into making one of those videos. My Aunt Joni is a Tamron Hall super fan. Joni was one of the first people to tell me to reach out to the Tamron Hall show. She called me one day and she said, you know, Tamron Hall has designers on her show. You gotta call her. As if I could just pick up the phone and call her. Being a great fan of Tamron Hall, I knew she was a great promoter of young and upcoming fashion designers. I encouraged Evan to contact her and see if they could give him an opportunity. I would absolutely love to see Tamron rocking one of my designs. She's such a fashionista, and to see her in one of my designs, that would be full circle because I've seen all of the amazing things that she wears. Well, Evan, I am rocking your design right now, but I, ha I know you have so much more to show our audience. We're gonna talk to Evan in a minute, but here we go. It's our fashion runway experience for the Tamron Hall Show. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Beautiful! Coming designer series, and we just got a front row seat to our first designer, Evan Hirsch's show. Congratulations! How do you feel? Thank you so much. I'm, I'm really excited. You're gonna tell us about our looks, but part of what we wanted to do with this is tell the story of the person who created the gowns. Aunt Joan is in the front seat there, but I know you almost didn't make it. Um, your grandma passed away. Yes. Last week. Yeah, last week. She was my number one fan, and I would actually do like bedside fashion shows for her. Anything that I designed had to be approved by grandma, and she always said, I know you're gonna make it big, so I just wanna make her really proud, you know? <laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy you're here, and I know your family said she would want 
you to pursue and continue to do this. A hundred percent. I want to talk about this look that I have on. It is so, when I came out, I couldn't wait to like unveil the other layer. Right. <laughs> How did you come up with this concept of transformational dresses? Well, I'm not the first designer to ever do something like this. I saw different designers that came before me and some of my favorite like drag performers and like different performers who've done quick changes. So I kind of took it and ran with it. I love the concept of changing instantly. And as I'm a failed theater person, <laughs> I, I get to channel my theatricality here instead. Let's talk about your runway look. Um, you have Akila. Let's talk about the first look. This pink is the color of the season. It's the color of the moment. Tell me about this transformation here. So this is my attempt at old Hollywood glamour. You saw when she came out, she had a big bow on her. I love the sparkle. I love just the element of surprise inside of it. I aimed this to be more wearable and it became a little more avant-garde, but I think she killed it. I thought she did a great <laughs> job. This is beautiful. Next up, we have Catherine, one of my favorite colors. I, I love this as well. This was a big surprise because it's, it's not flashy, but it's flash. Yeah, it has that really nice cowl when it's yeah. draped up. It's fun how these elements surprise themselves and become other elements when they put it up. Sometimes I'll take the dress and reverse it and it's a totally different look, so that cowl was great. Yeah. The color looks amazing on her. I love it's that color. It's like a satin moment that you could just easy breezy put on. Thank you so much. And next up, Sarah. Um, listen, <laughs> Sarah, this look is incredible. Thank you. Incredible. All, all of the looks were great, but you know this is a showstopper. First of all, she unveiled one layer, then another layer. I was like, my goodness, the workman and the craftsmanship of this dress and the tape, it, it's, how long did it take you to create this one? Well, really, this went pretty quick. The bottom layer I, you know, did myself, so it took me forever and a day. But the top <laughs> layer I had some help and consultation on, so it went by. But she is looking like her Cinderella moment. She comes out as her pumpkin, and she turns into her beautiful ball gown, so. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about the creativity. To your point, we saw this orange image, which was beautiful, and then it's like, Wait a minute, that orange is underneath that blue. Sometimes they have a tendency to look like a loofah or like very like yeah. voluminous, but then she'll drop it down and it becomes a moment like this. Who would have wow. thought that's all tucked up under there? I know. You know, in your video diary, you talked about, you get a lot of likes, so many views, you have so many fans, but in reality, you're self-financed. You're yeah. doing this on your own. 100%, that's the hardest part of it. I mean, people enjoy what I do, which keeps yeah. me going, but. I, I want to be able to keep it going for yeah, them. I love that. Well, models, you look amazing. We can't let you go without talking to the person who suggested that you come on the show. Hi, Joan. Hi. <laughs> You wanted I'm her your here. biggest fan. Thank I love you. you. Well, I'm a fan. And I of, love him. I love it. <laughs> that I, comes second. <laughs> I love that you wanted him to uh, try and, and get his fashions on to keep that dream alive. Why is it so important for you to keep backing him and keep inspiring him? Because he's such a talented individual. And my mother, may she rest in peace, knew it. Mm. She was his biggest fan. So she said, Evan, you gotta go out and you gotta do it. Yeah. So, and when I saw that you're a fashionista <laughs> and you have these wonderful people, I said, you gotta call Tamron. <laughs> Well, like I'm he could personally you call you. Recommendation. <laughs> you did great. Thank Listen, you. I know what it takes to really put your money on the line for your dream. I hope this has been everything that you hoped it would be. Well, you provided this platform that's just indispensable. Where would I get to show my design for someone oh, as amazing no. as you? You did it. You did the work. Oh, thank you. I know that Evan also does bridal. You do all kinds of looks. So thank you. And to learn more about where to find Evan's designs, including, as I mentioned, bridles, show-stopping moments that'll rock the crowd. You'll have them all, as they say. The girls will be gagging when you walk in. <laughs> Go That's to right. TamaronHallShow.com.